condo like this gives rabbits enough room for everything that the House Rabbit Society says they need, all in one compact space. We purchased all the materials to make our condo for less than $200. Of course, that doesn't include the tools that you'll also need. It's built using 14-inch squares designed for making storage cubes. They're fastened together with nylon cable ties, also called zip strips or zap straps. If you make your condo three squares high and two squares deep, then the bottom and three shelves can all be cut from one sheet of 5 8 inch plywood. And don't worry, at the end of this video I'll also tell you where you can download the plywood cutting diagram. Of course, the beauty of these condos is that they can be made in different sizes to fit different home situations. Start by joining squares together to make the various separate elements, the back, two sides, the front, and the top, along with supports for the three shelves. For areas that need extra strength, I crisscross some of the straps. Now that all the pieces are put together, it's time to start assembling. I'm going to attach the two side pieces to the back. This is one of those steps that's easier to do if you've got a helper with you who can hold the pieces while you tie them together. We covered the base and the two shelves with vinyl tile. You could also use linoleum remnants. What you need is a surface that's waterproof, easy to clean, and not too slippery for little rabbit feet. The dimensions of the base should be one inch wider and one inch deeper than the assembled cage. Use a marker to locate where you will want to drill holes for the nylon ties to attach the frame to the base. We used a 3 16th inch drill bit, so our 7.5 inch long ties would fit nice and tight. If your condo is going to be on wheels or nylon sliders, don't forget to put them on now before you start attaching the walls. Once you've got the wheels attached, then you can set the frame onto the base and then attach it with nylon ties. The door can be hinged in either direction so that it opens in whatever way is most convenient for your layout. Also, um, this is one time when you don't want to pull the nylon ties quite so tight. That way the door will swing more smoothly. For latching and unlatching the panels, these snap fasteners are hard to beat. We're using wire squares to support the shelves. Other people have used wooden dowels or 1x2s, which makes it easier to adjust the height. To support the large shelf, we'll use a horizontal 1x2. On the right side, it's supported by a vertical 1x2, and they're all attached with nylon ties. Now, about cutting the plywood, if you're good with power tools, you could do it yourself. We paid an extra $5 at the lumber yard, and they cut all the pieces to the right size. Finally, the top is attached. By hinging it in the middle, it'll be easier for us to reach inside. And that's how to build a bunny condo. Now all you need to get are some rabbits.